Back to our top story now, as we mentioned, aggressive driving is raising concerns all across the borderland, going back really to the time that a man was killed in a suspected road rage incident. That was back in September of last year. Yeah, unfortunately. Well, what we know is that our KTSM 90s reporter Jasmine Perry, she too witnessed an aggressive driver as she was getting uh, interviews for her story. Jasmine, what exactly did you see out there? Trevor, as I was interviewing an El Paso resident Friday afternoon, heads turned when my interview and I heard two drivers yelling at each other aggressively right before the light went red. Take a listen. El manejar es una situación que requiere atención. Oh. Now, as you can see, yelling in the background during our interview, this is an example of aggressive drivers. Now, I wasn't able to get the individuals on camera since it happened so suddenly. El Paso Police Department Sergeant Javier Zambrano explains aggressive driving involves different behaviors such as driving too close, what we call tailgating, speeding, or being inconsiderate of other drivers. He says there has been several road rage incidents involving weapons, adding most of the time, it is to scare the other driver, but sometimes it ends fatally. Recent one being from September along I-10 when a man was killed and the other driver fled the scene. Investigation, we learned that there are some witnesses that have seen those uh, vehicles or saw those, those vehicles uh, cutting in in front of each other for a while. And uh, the individual in one of the vehicles uh, took out a handgun and fired fatally, uh, wounding our victim. Sambrano says El Paso police is making sure to control road rage by blending in with other drivers to capture those who put others in danger. Now, if you're looking at your screen here, there are some tips that the community can do when witnessing dangerous drivers. Now, the report aggressive. Now, if you can do is a report aggressive driving to police when you see an uncontrollable driver. Now, do not respond to any aggressive drivers because it can escalate the situation, move out of their way. Now, Sambrano also advises to plan out your travel and give yourself enough time, especially with the amount of work road, the road work we have here in El Paso that causes more traffic to accumulate and do not let a driver with a bad attitude influence you. So keep that in mind and travel safe. I'm Jasmine Perry, KTSM 9 News.